late for work today. This may have been the reason why a police chase ended with a rollover crash in downtown Spokane, leaving traffic at a standstill for much of the morning and adding quite a chunk of time to the morning commute. Washington State Patrol troopers say an allegedly drunk driver led them on a 115 mile an hour chase along Interstate 90 before flipping his car 15 feet in the air off the Maple Street exit. KXY 4's Caroline Flynn was first on the scene. Everyone at the scene this morning is saying just how lucky it is that no one was injured, that there wasn't a pedestrian crossing the street or a car in the wrong place at the wrong time. Washington State Patrol says it's rare to see skid marks like this coming off of I-90. This car hit street signs, knocked down a power pole before launching 15 feet into the air and landing right here. It started several miles away when Washington State Patrol noticed the driver of this Pontiac G6 making some minor traffic violations near Highway 2 and I-90 and tried to stop him. And uh, the suspect led the lieutenant in a pursuit at over 115 miles an hour. It was just too dangerous, so the trooper stopped the pursuit about a mile from here, the Maple Street exit off I-90. The suspect continued to drive in an erratic and reckless manner, took the exit, lost control when he was trying to avoid a car, a slower car, of course. Witnesses say he flew 15 feet in the air and rolled over and landed where he did. It sounded like a house was falling down. Connie Vetter lives next door to where the car finally came to a stop. As a retired nurse, she immediately ran outside to see if she could help. I said, is he conscious? And they said, yes, he's moving and he has talked to us. The guy lied, made a ruse, said there's a child in the car, so everybody's now focused in the car, and he ran on foot. And I yelled at him, where are you going? I wasn't thinking about him just running away because he might be in trouble. Connie started to run after him, but stopped when an officer raced towards him. There was no child in the car. 30-year-old Athos Turner from Arizona was arrested for driving under the influence, hit and run, and operating a vehicle with a suspended license. He walked away handcuffed from the scene with just a few scratches. Everybody really lucked out today. In downtown Spokane, Caroline Flynn, KXOY 4 News.